How to recruit 30 personals in 30 days. This is not something that's normal. Um, it's not something that's usual. It's not something that most people do. Um, it's something that few people have done and accomplished. And they're usually the people who are speaking on stages or are running events. So how do you do this? Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jeff Gamble. I'm a traditional business owner. Um, real estate, brokerage company, have a massage therapy, so that's the traditional stuff. Also a network marketer, been in a few companies, built some big teams, recruited a lot of people. Um, currently, I'm a John C. Maxwell speaker, trainer, and coach. So how do you recruit 30 people in 30 days? Um, I've actually done this more than once, and there is a trick to it, and it's not normal. Um, it's not something that everybody can do. It's not something that everybody should shoot for. But if you happen to be in a situation where you want to or you need to, um, I want to kind of break it down and show you how I did it more than once. Um, you're going to have to first master the basics. If you don't know the basics, you are shit out of luck to sponsor 30 people in 30 days probably. Um, very rare will you be able to pull this off without knowing some of the basics. And what I mean by the basics is you're going to have to be good at contacting, good at inviting, good at presenting, good at closing, decent with third party, and you're going to have to know how to promote to events to get people locked in. Um, if you don't know those things, first you need to go master those. And there's ways to master those. There's ways to do it with warm market or leads. But I want to talk about you know, just going crazy uh, for 30 days and what that took. Um, in both instances, um, these are the things that had to happen. Number one um, is you have to believe it's actually possible. Um, when I decided to make this happen, I was in a situation where I was leaving a company um, and I was transitioning to something else. And I had to make a decision if I was going to do it, I was going to go all out. I was like, I'm going to put my head down and this is it. And I literally took a month where I did nothing but this, um, meaning I still worked, but like every waking hour after that, there was no TV, there was no Xbox, there was no, the only three things I did was like sleep, eat, and the gym. Um, and the only time I went to the gym is like right now it is 1.30 in the morning. Um, I just got back from the gym. Now, why do I go so late? Um, because it's non-productive time. If you are wanting to do this in 30 days and you're using productive time to do anything else, you're not going to recruit 30 people in 30 days. Meaning you're watching TV, you're catching up on Game of Thrones, you're on Facebook, you're fucking around doing stuff you're not supposed to. Um, there's no way. There's no way. Um, you have to be a thousand percent focused and you got to believe it's possible. Number two, you need a big list. Um, a, you need a list of people who know you um, and know that you're on a mission to accomplish something. So that either means that you're crazy excited or um, you're a professional at everything else you do and you've won in other ways. You've won, you know, maybe you're, you've just won in other ways, meaning you, you've done well in business, you've done well in life, you've done well in sports, and you're like, hey guys, you know, I committed before, look at this other stuff, I'm going to go hit this harder than I've ever hit it before, and you can get in a position right now. Um, and it doesn't mean everybody who gets in is going to do something, um, and it doesn't mean everybody you show it to is going to get in, but there's a way to do this very, very quickly. Um, the faster you go, the easier it is to recruit people. I know that sounds weird, but the faster you go, the easier it is, the more they get in. It's just, it's weird um, because momentum catches on. Um, it's just like a fire. When you spark a fire and you throw gasoline on it, it just takes off. And that's really what happens when you do this. Um, you need your story and presentation, the reason why you're doing it, the reason why you're putting it together so fast that has to be something you come up with before you start talking to people. You have to know exactly why it's going to happen, and you almost have to know how it's going to happen before it happens. The only thing you don't know is I don't know the order in which the names are going to be on applications. I just know that we're filling out this many. And I got all that stuff ready. I'm like, here's the 30 app of 40 applications. I actually recruited 41 people in the first 30 days, um, the first time I did it. And how did I do that? I, I, I had a whole sheet. It was like a hundred, 
and I'm like, I'm going to go through all 100. I'm just going to recruit everybody. Um, and we had close to 100 people, like, really fast. But 40 of them came in in the first 30 days. Um, most of them had no idea what they got in and what they were doing, but we, we made it happen. Um, you need to have more energy and more focus than anything you've ever done. Um, laser focus every day is about bringing in that next person. Every phone call is about bringing in that next person. You're not here to play games. You're not here to talk about anything else. I don't give a shit who won the football game, basketball game, who's in a tournament. I don't, I don't care about any of that. I care about putting these people in and getting them in order because we're doing this right now. If you miss this, you're going to miss like 40 or 50 people on your team. You're going to miss the commissions. You're going to miss the excitement. You're going to miss the promotions. You're missing everything. You miss the car payment if you guys have a car payment. Most companies have like car incentive and trips and stuff. It's the whole, I mean, I everything. Um, it needs to be written down. Your goal of what you're going to do has to be written down. I'm like, I'm going to hit this level in this time frame. And here's what I committed to. And this was actually a friend of mine slash mentor told me this. He goes, if I could wish any two things on you, I would wish these two things. Number one is you never find a leader on your team. You never find a leader. You never find somebody that picks up the ball and runs with you. He goes, number two, I hope you have some struggles that make you go do what you need to do. And he meant financial struggles that put you in a situation where you have to do this. Because if you don't have to do this, meaning you're good, you're okay, you're relaxed, you make enough money, everything's cool, you got money coming, it, it's not a big deal, you work three other jobs. Um, I like what Gary Vaynerchuk says. He's like, if you work three other jobs, you're not an entrepreneur. Sorry, you're not. Um, and that's Gary's words, not mine. I mean, you're an entrepreneur, but Gary says you're not an entrepreneur if you have three other jobs. That's Gary Vaynerchuk, not me. Go look at that video. Um, but you have to have it written down why you're going to do it, what level you're getting to. I mean, it's got to be specific. You got to have all that written down. And if you don't know how to write a goal, watch one of the other videos that I've done on making a goal. I learned it from somebody else. I didn't know how to do it. Um, then you're going to tell everybody what you're going to do. And what I mean by everybody is you're going to tell everybody in your upline support team, Hey, I'm going to make this run, and this is the level I'm going to hit. And it doesn't matter if you've never done anything great in business before. Um, it doesn't matter because anybody at any time can take off and run. There is Here's the other thing. There's no special magic to this, but here's the magic. And this is something that my mentor taught me, Tim taught me. Um, and I knew Tim 20 years ago. Uh, 20 years ago, I remember this meeting, and he was telling everybody, he's like, there's two things I'd wish upon you. Well, number one, you never find a leader. And number two, I hope you have some struggles. And I was like, what the hell does that mean? And I finally got it, but I got it like a decade later. <laughs> uh, a decade later, I'm sitting there thinking, what is he talking about? Why did he say that? And what he actually meant is, if you never found a leader and you knew you needed 100 people to get to the next level... Who's the person that has to put them all in? You do. You have to make every phone call. You have to fill out every application. You have to sign up every person. You have to drive to every meeting. You have to pick every single person up. You have to promote. You got to do it all. And people are like, well, I don't want to work that hard. Fine. Then don't promote. But I was willing to. I was like, I'll do that. I can make it. It's not going to kill me. It's not going to, you know... It's not going to, there's, there's nothing that's stopping me. There's nobody that special. What I finally did is I cut myself off from everybody else. And I said, well, why are these guys so special that are making it? I could do this. W what's stopping me from presenting to a lot of people other than, you know, my own personal hangups? Nothing, you know. But the real question is, is why would people join you? Why would people join you? You have to have something inside you that says, there's a good reason why people should join me. This is a good opportunity. This is a good group of people. This is a good reason to make this run. It doesn't mean it might always be, but it might be right then. This is a good thing. Um, we're going to learn a lot. We're going to make some money. We're going to help some people. There has to be benefits. I mean, it can't just be all about you. But you do have to have that internal thing that you're worthy. It has to be something you go, okay, I can do this. You have to tell everybody about it. And last, I would suggest going all out for more like 90 days. If you just make it a 30-day, you might just kind of get up and running and not really run um, until like it kicks in. And it's really weird. 
you know, emotion, motion creates emotion. So you might not be real emotion about emotionally connected to it when you first start, but you're like, I'm making a run for 90 days. I'm like going all out. And if you have a list, if you have leads, if you have three, four, 500 people to call, your goal is how fast can I contact all these people? Your goal is to rip through them and your goal is to get a hold of every single person. I want them to say, no, I'm not interested. I don't care. I hate you. I like, I, I was, I was totally dis emotionally attached. I was not emotionally attached to what anybody said because I didn't care. I was like, I'm looking for the 30 people who are going to get in. I don't give a damn if you get in or not because I have a list of so many people right here. I know I'll find the right ones. And here's the thing. Timing's everything. Timing's everything for people. It doesn't mean they're not going to join later. It doesn't mean that their life might change. It doesn't mean that you know a new house, a new job, a new situation might change what they're going to do. They'll get in. But that's what I did I presented, and here's the thing. I picked up the phone, and I said, hey, I, we need to talk right now. And one thing that you'll find when you finally understand this, you can really recruit anybody at any time. Um, and I know we're not supposed to say that, but truly, you can influence anybody at any time. Tony Robbins talks about this. It's you know He used to do incantations um, at driving to you know work, and he used to sell tickets to high-powered executives. He was like 19, 17, 18, 19 years old, and he was selling Jim Rohn tickets, which was a motivational speaker, and he was selling them to executives, people who made way more money, people who had way more success than him. But what he realized is, is if there's two energies, whoever has the higher energy, whoever is more convinced, has the most energy, will influence the other person. They will influence the other person. And it doesn't matter if this person's a gas station attendant. It doesn't matter if this person's a farmer. It doesn't matter if this person's a college student. It doesn't matter if this person's 17. It doesn't matter if this person's fat. It doesn't matter if this person's ugly. It doesn't matter if this person's missing teeth. It doesn't matter if this person came from the right household. If this person's more excited and more convinced, they will influence this person. The question is, is which person are you? Are you this person down here that's being convinced of a bunch of stuff from other people? Are you this person up here, right here, that's going to convince everybody? So that's totally up to you. Um, with that, what do you guys think of this? Um, is this something you can go do? If you're going to make the commitment, I'd like to know. Write it on my page first and say, look, I'm going all out. I don't care what company. I don't care you know, what service, what product line. Um, you know, Right on here, I'm committed. I'm going to go after this. I'm going to put 30 people in in 30 days. I could do this. You know, And here's the thing. If you want to put 30 people in in 30 days, just plan on showing it to 300 people. I mean, it's like one out of 10, right? Um, 300 people. If you're not willing to talk to three to 400 people in a 30-day time frame, it's not going to happen. You're not going to talk to 30 and get 30. It just doesn't work. You're not going to talk to 60 and get 30. You're not going to probably talk to 90 and get 30. You will be somewhere between 200 and 400 people to get 30. But you will get 30 if you talk to that many people. The other thing is, it's painful and sucks to do it slow. I mean... I mean, try to rip a Band-Aid off real slow. I mean, it's just rip that thing off and get it done. So if you're going to go build network marketing, do it fast. Just get it over with. So with that, guys, like this, share this. Um, I need some likes. Help me out. Um, you know, I just do videos all the time helping people out. If you like it, if you got something out of it, like the video. I appreciate it. Um, and if you want more of this, contact me at uh, Work With Jeff Gamble on Facebook. Like the page. And I appreciate everybody for watching. Have a great weekend.